up in my place without giving me a reason No more games, I hope that you're here to stay You're not just see for the season I only fuck with you alone, but if you wanna try, we could have a threesome I'm talking about what feelings Hey yo, what is up? Welcome back to my life the the trenches anyway i'm going to start freestyling these videos because i realized that i cannot write a script to save my life also because i really ramble a lot so maybe some people might find comedy in that i don't know we'll see anyway the whole purpose of today's video is starting over the scariest thing about starting over is the fear of the unknown but sometimes Taking a chance on the unknown is exactly what we need to discover our true potential. Starting over is never easy, but it's always worth it. It's an opportunity to learn from your mistakes and to create a better, more fulfilling life for yourself. You see, now with that quote, it made me think to myself like, bro, we've been doing so much research on, oh, what's the healthiest way to do this? How are we going to get into fitness? How are we going to start moving our YouTube channel? in the right direction and all this stuff and surprisingly enough when i saw this one instagram video five increasingly painful truths that would drastically improve your life it's harsh so scroll on if you're not ready to hear it one you said you'd start months ago now it's the end of the year that time is gone and you're no further ahead call yourself out stop putting it off no excuses and get started two you know what you should be doing stop chasing shiny objects reaching your full potential will require you to do things that feel uncomfortable regularly doing hard things is a skill that can be built three most of your research and idea generation is procrastination disguised as productivity figure out what you're afraid of and face up to it four people who are less knowledgeable and intelligent than you will do better than you because they're taking action while you continue to be in research mode five no one is going to sort your life out for you. Years will pass by and you'll be stuck here. Stop waiting, take responsibility. It hit like a ton of bricks to think to myself, I was, I'm actually one of those guys who's busy means doing research. Cause like I just said, I've been doing so much research on how to improve my life that I haven't really done anything. Hence why I slacked on this channel and well many other areas in my life you know when you feel like you're degrading basically slowly that's that's the kind of feeling I'm getting right now it just feels like bruh you did so much what happened that's legit where I am at that what happened after watching this Instagram video it literally just hit me like bro you need to start doing the right things i've basically learned that writing down your goals is basically the number one thing to do when you're trying to make changes because the more you see it it's like a vision board the more you see it the more you want it because there's that constant reminder that this is what you want so that's what i did when i decided to go back to my notion app there's like a lot of things on that list and i mean it's, it's something so simple as like to the type of brands that I want to work with because this is what our perfect life looks like and I feel like that's where today's video needs to start from it's like okay now that we've figured out or we've made our plan what are we doing about it so today you're basically going to see me clean most of the time what this cleaning is basically like me trying to get rid of the old in a sense you know i'm trying to use this as like a metaphor for this is the change that we're trying to get to like i'm saying man like today it just it just feels like a video where i'm saying i'm starting over and i want to do it right and this is basically the the visual evidence of me trying to do exactly that yeah let's get to cleaning Easy, yo, 
easy go. We got up. All right, just a quick update because, you know, I live in a country where load shedding is normal. So the reason why I had to stop recording for a while is just because um, I ran out of memory, number one. So clearly I overshot, I overdid it with this kitchen section. And obviously I have a small camera, so battery life did not last very long. So I had to obviously chill on the uh, recording front, but obviously I could not just stop cleaning because of that. So just a quick update. I eventually did the oven i put this up it wasn't there before so yeah now my knives get to hang but it's not all of them like the the rest of the stuff is still in here and then yeah also another thing that i did is i kind of like cleaned over there like on the floor over there because my potatoes sit here because i cleaned it here where my air fryer is so i cleaned down here and my air fryer as well and yeah the reason why i put my potatoes here is because every time i use the air fryer i feel like it cooks the potatoes that are well the heat cooks the, the potatoes in this space right here and then yeah, I just sweeped and mopped the bathroom. Which is where I will be continuing the rest of this cleaning. Also, I just wanted to say like I also hung up this thing. The only problem is I used a marker to mark where it would be level. And as you can see, the mark is still there. That we ladies and gentlemen, we call not knowing what you're doing. But hey, we move. We will build for me this. Let's get this bathroom. All right, so I was hoping that this video would actually be done in a day, maybe two, but yeah, because of load shedding, things have went on longer than expected. Anyway, so today is Monday and it was supposed to be day one of me eating meal prep and you know, health, fitness, life, yada, yada, yada. But yeah, load shedding has been hectic. And yeah, the electricity has been off since four so and it's on a four hour rotation so basically i'm only getting electricity back at eight meaning i can only cook around eight and yeah seeing as i have a work to do tomorrow i don't think it's, it would have made sense for me to basically wait that late to cook and then eat and then still go sleep with the whole night and day routine thing that i'm starting i'm trying to do basically so i decided to order in we're eating sushi tonight. Yeah. Don't look at this and think to yourself like, oh my God, he got the platter. I bet he's spending millions of brands because he's a YouTuber now. No, this was on special. It's half price Mondays. I can't tell you where because if I had to spread the word, then you guys would flock it or whoever sees this would flock it. And then, you know, who knows when I'd be able to eat this again. So secret restaurant, half price sushi. Boom. That That's what we're eating today. <laughs> So, like I was trying to tell you guys, I'm trying to get uh, enough, well, the things that I need, and then that will be that. And one thing that I've always wanted was obviously a new set of pots, but obviously pots that match my aesthetic, in this case, hopefully black, because that's what I ordered. So in this box right here, I've ordered myself nonstick pans and casserole pan combo thing, six pieces. I followed many of my favorite YouTubers when they were like, oh yeah, I have an unboxing knife. I decided to get one too. And yeah, for the ones noticing that, wait, where's your knife set that's supposed to be right here as you can see this thing didn't hold so i just took the whole thing down so i just have to strip this down out again because you know clearly i have to drill that uh thing in because the knives are too heavy or maybe i just hang less knives who knows but we'll see how that pans out anyway here is my new frying pan Ooh, shiny it's a little egg pan as you can see so that people don't cook eggs in my big pan and then leave it dirty aka my previous pot which i cannot lift because i there's a water inside it but yeah then the two big uh pots because the pasta bowl i used well the pat pot i used to use is literally this small so as you can tell 
I, it took a while to cook pasta in this. So at least with like these two bigger sized ones, I mean, we can clearly tell the difference from that, that at least I'll be able to cook in less time and obviously bigger quantities, meaning my meal prep will now go smoother. And yes, just for the record, I will be getting rid of these pans and pots, not getting rid of it as like throw it away. I mean, I, I will probably take it back home and because I took them from home. So I'll probably just take them back home and give it back to my mom. I don't know if she's still going to use it, but you know, like I said, man, we keep what we need. Everything that we don't need is leaving this apartment. New pans. All right, so we're in load shedding and I just got my last package. Um, I don't know if I have time to like open this thing on camera like that, but anyway, my, remember I talked about like, we're going to change everything. There's something that I've always wanted and a lot of have you actually able to afford one. We got it. Electric toothbrush. And obviously it's all black because I told you guys the aesthetic that we're doing now. So everything black. And the reason why I bought this now, because some of you guys are going to be like, oh, why not Colgate or Oral-B? Those things are expensive. Now, the nice thing about this one is that it's an affordable electric toothbrush, but it's also like very good according to dentists and everybody else's review that I watched about this. At the making of this video, $33. Well, $34. I've done the reviews on it, or I've heard the reviews on it, and if you brush your teeth twice a day like you're supposed to, uh, it should last you 22 days. So it has senses that basically when you're brushing, it'll only vibrate for like 30 seconds, so gives you 30 seconds to watch this side it will stop worse 30 seconds 30 seconds 30 seconds and then after you've done your two minutes of brushing because that's how long you're supposed to brush the toothbrush itself will automatically turn itself off to be like you're done stop you're done